center plans 10% quota for the poor center plans 10% quota for the poor till now <coughs> reservation policy is only for socially and educationally backward classes of citizens if you belong to general category though you are poor you are penniless you are not entitled to get reservation though you are poor if you belong to general category you are not entitled for reservation the reason behind it is the reason behind it is to get some benefit under reservation there should be some social backwardness or education backwardness it's not at all economic backwardness economic backwardness is not the reason or the substantial ground for reservation till date for the first time earlier once government tried but supreme court have denied for the first time again reservations were proposed for economically backward classes though they belong to general category economically backward classes though they belong to general category government have not yet brought modalities for that but the proposal is those who have less than 8 lakh rupees income per annum those who have less than 8 lakh rupees income per annum or 5 acres of land or they have a house less than 1000 square feet 1000 square feet there is a three criteria but now try to understand i'll debate how to answer if a question is asked do you support or what is the rational or what are the advantages and disadvantages of reservations in general category first thing reservation should not exceed 50% reservations should not exceed 50% okay in the mandal commission judgment also called as indra sane versus union of india it was said that reservations are capped at 50% okay beyond that there should not be reservations first thing second argument is it is a time to wrap up all the reservations it is a time to stop all the reservations now you are asking still more and more reservation and the third important thing is to have a reservation under general category or to make such things you need to have constitutional amendments you need to amend article 15 because article 15 says special provisions can be made for socially and educationally backward there is no word called economic backwardness in article 15 there is no word called economic backwardness you have to amend article 15 and article 16 also in article 16 opportunity in public employment in these two articles there is something which you need to do now and we need to have a constitutional amendment we need to have a constitutional amendment to introduce reservations in general for general category also and one more thing article 335 of indian constitution says very important article who generally will miss article 335 of indian constitution says you can have you can introduce reservations but at the same time the interests of scs and sts can be taken care of backward classes of certain sections can be taken care of at the same time you cannot compromise with efficiency and merit in administration you cannot compromise with efficiency merit in administration so these are all the reasons and one more important reason is see already government employment got reduced already government employment generation also got minimized at this point of time even if you few general category people got into government services or government educational institutions in reservations uh, how many families will get benefited out of it is a question again when things are going privatized day by day when you give few jobs more to the general category people does it make any sense so this is one argument and other side of the coin is yes yes the general category people are saying they were facing reverse discrimination they were facing reverse discrimination now this might help them this might help them meritorious candidates just because of reservations if they are losing losing jobs at least few of them will get benefited and they'll also feel that state is doing justice to them and more importantly we all know that some of the general category candidates because of economic backwardness 
cannot pay donations, cannot join in the schools, colleges or cannot get employment. In such a reason, for such a reason meritorious candidates in general category will also be in the competition in the ladder. They will also feel that state is doing justice to them. In a way this is also good. They have, there are challenges and also good points. Okay.